The moon does not produce its own light, but shines because its surface reflects the sun's rays. A lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, earth, and moon are aligned to form an exact or almost exact straight line, with the earth in the middle. In this alignment, the earth casts its shadow on the moon's surface, which temporarily does not receive any sunlight. The earth's shadow is made of an outer part called the penumbra, a darker central part called the umbra, and the antumbra, a partially shaded area beyond the umbra. On September 27th, the lunar eclipse will be total, which means that the moon will completely enter the umbra for one hour and 12 minutes. The moon won't turn completely dark, however. Rather, it will turn reddish as it's hit by sunlight bent by the Earth's atmosphere, a phenomenon known as a blood moon. At the same time, another phenomenon known as a perigee supermoon will also occur. Supermoons happen because the Earth's orbit around the Earth is elliptical rather than circular. When the moon is at its apogee, its furthest point from Earth, it's about 252,000 miles away. At its perigee, the closest point to our planet, the moon is about 226,000 miles away. On September 27th, the moon will be at perigee and therefore it will appear to be about 14% larger and 30% brighter than an apogee full moon. An event like a supermoon total eclipse is quite unique. Since 1900, it's occurred only five times, in 1910, 1928, 1946, 1964, and 1982. The next one will occur in 2033. This rare supermoon total lunar eclipse will be 100% visible from start to end in some parts of North America, in all South America, in Western Europe, and Western Africa. It will not be visible in East Asia.